but I want to talk about compliance and regulations. Y'all are going to be much more knowledgeable uh, than I am. Although I have a lot of banking clients, y'all y'all are involved in compliance and regulations and and meeting those regular regulations day in and day out. So, how important is would you say compliance is in a day to day cybersecurity landscape? I mean, we know it's important, but what what steps should businesses take to ensure that they're compliant? How how would a small to mid sized business that may not even know if they're compliant, how would they move forward with 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 addressing compliance issues? How would they how would they tackle that in your opinion? Yeah, so it's it's for small and medium-sized businesses, most of the time they don't recognize the need for regulation, regulatory compliance or anything of that nature until they've been compromised. That's right. And yeah, right. and then then they're faced with, hey, what do I need to do? And so right. Uh, it's different than publicly traded companies that have to be audited, or if you're even a private company right. in a very heavily like financial services, mm -hmm. and I know already. Um, so, you know, we see that kind of shock factor come in when they find out that, holy moly, I had, um, you know, I've had seven, 800 employees over the last 10 years come and go. And now I've been compromised and I had a spreadsheet full of their benefit information mm -hmm. in there. Yes. And now I have to go out and not, we have to go figure out a way to find all these people, figure out what states they live in, and then notify them based mm -hmm. on each and each individual state's re regulatory mm -hmm. direction, right? So, so how they get in front of it, I think it's a two pronged approach. I mean, number one is, you know, having a, a, a privacy attorney, not, okay. not just your general business attorney, but somebody that specializes in this area. Under, get to know, get to understand your business, and then and then talk to you about those different aspects. I mean, it's, I mean, it it it, it you know really kind of starts with you know how you do business, how your contracts mm -hmm. are, you know the things that you all agree to, the things that you won't agree to. A lot of small businesses don't think about that, and so that's where a privacy attorney can come in and and get to know the business and learn the business, and then you know from that perspective, that's when you know someone like ourselves will come in and do an assessment and try to right. understand. Okay. What is the gap or the gaps that are there that need that you need to close? I mean, we've, I mean, you know, we've seen companies, you know, I talk about one that had data that they hadn't deleted since the year 2000, and they right. were, they were involved in healthcare, and right. uh, they had a, you know, this is a five-person organization. They had over a million health records, hmm. and so they hmm. had absolutely no concept because if you looked at what they did. They weren't a healthcare provider, right? They were behind the scenes doing some other type of audit and administrative work, but they had the data. And right. uh, you could even say, well, you didn't even need all the data that you had. You only needed a piece of that. Yeah. But they never took the time to step back and go, oh, man, we got a bunch more data than we actually need to do our jobs. They didn't have attorney going, holy moly. I mean, you're a huge risk, you know, from right. many different angles for having all right. this data. So, yeah, so that's where I would say it's kind of a two pronged approach. And then once you have those opinions and recommendations from both the legal side and the security side, uh, then together they can work on a roadmap uh, to get those things done. And obviously, you know, work on the, the high priority stuff and work your way down the list. That's that's terrific. I think um, it's easier for financial services clients because they're bound by whatever regulatory guidelines that they have and it's just part of the business and they have regs they have to follow and they get audited it's normal operating procedure but i like what you're saying you may have a small business that isn't bound by pci isn't necessarily they may hipaa may apply but they're not getting audited hipaa wise they you know they're they're, they're not in government and but they have a business and they're operating and there's no real there's no real compliance relate related oversight to a small business there's not a compliance team there's no there's no oversight in that way so it i i, I love what you said it is wise for them to pull in an attorney to evaluate their operations to sort of establish risk and say well how long do you keep data where's data kept where's it backed up and all these things but then also to pull in somebody that's an expert like you that's a security expert to come in and look at their operations and establish is this is this generalized it security best practice yes or no is it nist nist framework Rel, you know, best practice, those type of things. And then you can come in and you can say, okay, look, according to, you know, you know, our, con, our consultant's opinion on these things, this is what you would improve in. This is why, this is how you would get there. Here you go. And that's incredibly powerful because you just don't know when you're in a small business, you, you, you have no idea. And you, you don't have, when you, until you get to 50, hundred people, you don't have anybody that's an expert in it and pulling in somebody like y'all to evaluate that and provide direction is, is, I, I mean, 
it's invaluable. It's invaluable. That's, and that's one of the things that we're doing more and more of is this incident response advisory program. Yes. Okay. Uh, that really provides that resource for the clients, right? To be able to come and talk to somebody who's been there, done that and seen that, right? Mm -hmm. and, uh, and has the relationships with 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 lawyers and mm -hmm. um, and knows the ropes. So that's uh, that's been a real valuable asset for for the clients that we're partnering with. Question for you. So can a business go right to you? I assume they can go right to you and work with you directly if they don't have an MSP. Correct. Yes, they can. Mm -hmm. That's terrific. So somebody could pull you in for those type of things. And it sounds like you have some type of program where they can pay, um, you know, monthly maybe to be part of a program where you're evaluating those things and providing feedback and working on resolving issues and so forth. Exactly. Or they may awesome. have, they may have something that they just find that's suspicious that just needs a, somebody mm -hmm. to go in and quickly triage and yes. say, hey, look, this is, this is fine. You contained it. You dealt with it. Move on. Or sure. this is a bigger deal. Exactly. Uh, it needs to be handled differently. So yeah, that's what that program is designed for. That's that's terrific. That's terrific. It's good to know that not only the people that are listening to this that are in MSP industry can go to y'all and you can augment their MST, MSP, but you know anybody, any small business owner can go to you and just basically ask questions and get you to review their stuff and provide a program for them to you know get that help they need all the time. That's that's terrific. Um, and really inherent in, to doing that, you're creating your own internal operations and regulations on how IT should work. And that's terrific because if you have that in place, you're far, far ahead of somebody that doesn't. Now you're exactly, um, and what people need to understand mm -hmm. too is that, look, there's um, there's ways of doing things that make sense for your business. So right. it's not necessarily like this, this hardcore recipe that everybody has to follow to the T. Uh, a lot of people think that, right? And, and that, that hardcore recipe could be very expensive. Uh, but with the right people involved in in consulting and, and giving recommendations to you, a program can be tailored to to meet those needs of your business without, you know, spending a, a gazillion dollars. That's terrific. That's terrific. So it sounds like you can you can evaluate scope and add things, remove things, expand things and do that to and, and really customize it for anybody that comes to you. Right. And it's not just this pay $400,000, you get this widget and that's it. So that sounds, that sounds wonderful.